Often when we set out a revision timetable, we don't pick things that are good for our mental health to do on our study breaks. So when we set our 20 minute Pomodoro timers, we don't think about how we are gonna spend that five minute break that we work so hard for. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some ideas of some things you can do that are a bit more mindful and a bit better for your mental health than just scrolling on social media in those five minutes that you earn from doing the 20 minutes of solid work or even things that you could do when you come home from work or from school. So the first one is to meditate and this is easier said than done. It can be really, really hard and really daunting to start a meditation practice because um, it is really hard to kind of just sit there and not do anything because it feels really unproductive to just sit there and not do anything and just to focus on your, um, your breath and your thoughts but it is one of the best things you can start doing if you don't do it already and if this is too daunting to you then there are other things you can do that are uh, meditative um, like you could just lie on the floor and just kind of observe your thought patterns um, and not get too like caught up in your thoughts but just let them kind of pass by and not worry about um, if a uh, a similar thought keeps coming up again and again but just observing it and um, recognizing it it can really help you to kind of sort out the muddle that sometimes we feel that is in our heads um, so that is a great practice to do I always use headspace but I find that the headspace app is quite difficult to concentrate on because I like to meditate to music so how I fix that is by um, signing into my headspace app on my computer so that when I listen to a headspace medica med medication meditation I can put um, some meditation music on in the background of when I'm doing it so I can really focus on breathing. I find it really hard to just listen to the meditation teacher's voice and sometimes it kind of jump scares me when they haven't talked for a while and then they talk again I like kind of get a bit frightened so um, I highly recommend that and it makes it more fun and more enjoyable because we're more likely to do things that we like fully enjoy the experience of um, so um, it makes it a lot easier a lot less daunting to do so I highly recommend Headspace but this video isn't sponsored obviously because my channel isn't big enough yet but um, yes if you haven't tried meditating regularly if it's only something that you do um, before spell work or whatever um, it is a great practice to um, take up to do in your daily life. The next one um, you can do on your five minute break or even a longer break is just any kind of stretching even if it's like really light gentle stretching like random stretches you learn at primary school PE it is something it helps you to move your body because often when we are sitting at a desk for um, an extended periods of time the circulation in our bodies is not running quite efficiently so um, it helps to have some movement to kind of get your blood flowing again because I always find I cross my legs when I'm at a desk because I find it more comfortable but then one of my feet goes dead so it's not the best thing to do so um, I try and do some stretches or even a short yoga flow if this appeals to you um, it is really really beneficial and can um, make you feel more like refreshed and more like lifted before you go back and um, do the next round. You could even do Qigong or um, Tai Chi. Um, I really really love these practices because they're really really simple um, but they are a bit more mindful, they're kind of like a, a moving meditation. Um, so if you don't know anything about that I highly recommend you go and um, check it out, um, it's such a great um, practice to start, either one of them, Qigong is best to start before trying to do Tai Chi though, because Tai Chi is a bit more advanced, but I don't know a lot about that area yet, something that I'm currently learning, um, so yes, that is a great, great thing to um, do. 
So yes, whatever practice resonates with you to um, stretch and it's also good to switch it up. So just to do random stretches and then do yoga in another one and then do Qigong in another one. So um, you keep that doing different things and it doesn't get boring and monotonous like studying can get. The next one is to get fresh air and this depends on like where you are because um, if you're studying somewhere where you can't really go outside or if it's like a really really rainy day and you don't want to go outside it is hard to get fresh air but even just opening a window I find if I'm in the middle of studying and my brain kind of goes like it just won't it just feels stuck I open the window and let the air um, flood in to the room and it really helps to just refresh my mind um, so even just opening the window can be really good or going outside is really good as well but um, any of it just really helps to wake you up and make you feel a lot more present um, and can help you focus for longer periods of time when you go back to doing work next one is a bit more unusual but a lot of my witchy peeps will have known and heard of this so it is earthing and this is something that um, would probably be best after a day of studying because um, unless it's like the summer you wouldn't be able to just go outside and do this so um, it sounds a bit unusual to people who've never heard of it but it's literally where you take off your shoes and your socks and you go and walk on bare earth so usually um, grass or sand um, it has to be like directly onto the earth so if it's like a patio it doesn't really count um, because of the I can't remember the science behind it <laughs> which is kind of ironic but um, it it's something to do with like the the negative electrons or ions or something from the earth um, going to your body I, I, I can't remember it's been a long time but um, this kind of practice is really really good because it helps connect you to the earth and it also links to um, one of my other points which was grounding um, it helps with grounding and just kind of giving you that connection back to the earth um, when you have finished studying it just helps to reawaken you and revitalize you and just um, remind you um, that there are other things than studying because sometimes you get swept up in this kind of study headspace and you kind of feel a bit disconnected from the natural world so this is one of my favorite things to do to feel connected to it um, and it's just really really satisfying especially when it has rained recently or the grass is like dewy it's really really satisfying to walk on it so I really really love that practice um, and the final one is to and I got this idea from Ivy the Occultist she's an amazing content creator um, and she said this and it really really stuck with me so it is where you just eat fruit really really mindfully especially like fruits like orange which are really fragrant and you just sit and just take in everything about it like the taste of it and like the texture of the orange how it smells and how it looks like really making it a sensory experience it really helps you to kind of have that moment of mindfulness and kind of connect you to the present moment um, it kind of relaxes you and that is a great thing to do on a study break because it kind of like recenters you so then when you go back to studying then you can be more focused and more awake so I really hope that this video was a nice reminder to do things on your study breaks that are good for you because good habits like this really do build up over time and you can really feel the difference of them. Um, I'm going to be trying to do these things I say in this video because every time I finish my um, little section of work I go on my phone and I go on YouTube and I watch a YouTube video or I scroll shorts and it's really really bad for me because my eyes really hurt lately because I'm trying to get through this online course for my chemistry A level to kind of like revise the content and because I've got that screen time combined with um, my phone screen time my eyes don't really get that much of a break from screens so I really need to do these practices that I talked about today so that my eyes feel well rested and I feel well rested um, and 
just looking after your mind is a very very important thing to do and I know people talk about it a lot but people don't always take the advice that is said and that is shared because I don't actually know anyone in my life that meditates except from you guys online but like people it, that I know I don't know any of them that actually do meditate um, or, or meditate on like a um, like often um, so yes if I can inspire one person to meditate from this video that would mean a lot to me um, so yes please let me know in the comments down below if you are also a student and what you're studying for or if you are um, a working person um, but I really do think that these practices are great for whatever you're doing even if you're you're going for a period of your life where you're not working um, it's great to remember to do little practices like this to con connect you to your spirituality and um, just remind you how important your mental health is so that you don't abuse it so yes that is um, everything I have to say for today hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys all soon Bye.